Hey guys, Queen Cleo. I'm back with another video. Um, today my vlog is gonna be about bullying. Um, I came across a story about a young lady in my city that um took her own life because of um bullying at school or social media bullying. And from a parent that has experienced bullying firsthand with my oldest daughter, this year, um, she was having a tough time at school. Um, her and the girl fell out, and then the girl cousin came. And um, it just was a misunderstanding what someone else outside of them said. And it just was back and forth. And I, me as a parent was, like, heartbroken because... You know, I love my kids, and I always tell them to stand up for themselves, which, you know, she doesn't have a problem with. Stand up for herself, but also stand up for others who don't have the courage. You know, even my friendships or friends that I've known or peers, when I saw they couldn't stand up for themselves, you know, I defended them because I'm a very open person. You know, I don't bother others, but when you bring it to me, I'm going to bring it back. That's just my sign. That's just how I was built. I don't bother you, but if you bother me, then it, it, it's going to get ugly. So, I just don't like the fact that kids think they can get away with bullying others because of what, how they look or how nice they are to somebody or you don't like this person because this person don't like them. And even in school, like, it's a popularity thing. Um, everybody goes with the flow. If this person don't like it, I'm not going to do it. But what me and, you know, I tell my friends, you know, start, you know, telling our kids to stand up for themselves, stand up for others. And, you know, whatever someone says about you, if you don't look like that, and if you do look like that, it's, it's not their opinion because God made everybody the way he wanted to make them. He made us all beautiful. He made us all smart. You know what I'm saying? Like, so if someone has something different about them, that just makes them stand out more. You know, don't let anybody intimidate you. Don't let anybody take you down because you are beautiful. Everybody's beautiful. I don't care what other people say. I don't care what your peers say. You are a beautiful person. God put you on this earth for a reason. And, you know, don't let anybody tell you that you're not beautiful. I don't care about, you know, who dresses the best. I don't care about who mama has the best money. Who has the best house? You know, kids are paying attention to, like, material things when God intended us to be people that were nice and kind, people that were support our brothers and sisters. So he didn't intend us to pick on each other and make, you know, someone feel so bad so they feel like they can't live anymore. You know, that's so heartbreaking because me as a parent, I tell my kids they're beautiful. I tell my kids they're beautiful, they're strong, they're smart. No person can get in my kid's head because I instill values that are going to be everlasting. But you have to apply the tools like I tell my teenager. You have to apply the tools when you're faced with peer pressure, when you're faced with adversity. You apply those tools because you're always going to have a mother that will... Come to your defense. Now, I'm going to find out the situation, but I'm going to come to her defense. Now, if she's doing something wrong, then I'm going to tell her, no, you don't ever tease, you don't ever bully. I tell my kids. And if someone's doing something, you tell me immediately. Because that's my job as a mother. He picked me to be their mother. And if they can't stand on their own, I'm going to stand beside them. And I'm going to protect them with everything in me. I'm coming full force at anybody. In the situation with her, we were our parents were able to talk it out, and I ended up knowing her mother, you know, and it, it was all great. Like, you know, she told me there's nothing going on. Like, I went there, and it's people that, you know, I read on the news, like with the little girl who, pat, who committed suicide. I think she was like eight when she was fighting, and someone videotaped her. Like, the videotaping just hasn't stopped. Like, you know, it's professional fighters. Which I wouldn't watch a bad, uh, boxing match, but it's a sport. But nowadays they want to videotape and embarrass everybody, and people are, cannot come back for that. When you're, you know, attacked, and they think it's funny. That's how it's been rationalized. Like you can, you know, 
record this person. Oh, I'm going to fight this person. I'm going to do this. No, that's not right. Because everybody deserves a chance at life. Like, to see someone young, I'm 31. And I'll be 32 in July. But just to see somebody 16, 15, 16, and younger than that take their life is not... I mean, it doesn't settle with me, you know? So, like I was telling my fiance, I was telling my friends, I want to start something where, you know, we do um, confidence building. Like, start a group. When I was in school, I was in a group, you know, with self-esteem. Like, we don't know what's going on with our children, but I'm not going to sit there and not do anything. I'm going to start a group, you know, because yeah, I see everybody else or other people that, start groups and organizations to build women up because you never know what what our um, kids are facing women or men you don't know what they're facing abuse sexually physically mentally you know you never know what the, the kids are facing the same type of abuse you don't know what's going on so you have to be in your community and you have to like step out and speak up for others and I don't like bullying period it's a no bullying zone with me because I don't feel like no one should take their life. Because life is so precious. Like, you have people that are, you know, wishing they can live, but they have the illness, you know, a serious illness, and it's been taken away. So when you get life, you have to grain, grab it. You have to embrace it because you only get one life. There's a life after this, but he wants you to do the work on the earth to secure your everlasting life in his kingdom. So we have to like stand up. When I see somebody, if I think somebody being mean to somebody else, I'm stepping in and I'm going to say something. Everybody like, my, no, I'm not minding my business. It's my business to step in and say that is not okay. It's not okay for you to be mean to this person. It's not okay for you to hit this person. not okay for you to make this person feel like a piece of crap because you may be going through something and you want to take it out on others. But you don't deal with that. You deal with what you're dealing with and pray. And you be nice. Bullying will never ever be okay with me and I will never ever stand for it and I stand against it and I speak against it I do not like it. So it needs to stop. It needs to start at home Respect and no matter what you go through our ancestors been through so much and you, you still see them living You still see them walk around you still see them remain humble when they were attacked. So Today it stops it needs to stop and I stand with the other organization. No bullying Stop bullying because it's taking too many of our children away because someone comes to school and wants to do something. Oh, I don't like her. Well, it don't matter. I don't, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to like everybody. Stay in your corner. You don't have the right to make somebody feel like they're nothing. They're not worth this because everybody is worth their life. And, you know, I want to get serious. I want to get raw. Like, I don't like bullying. And it'll never be okay. So, whenever I come up with or whatever he leads me to i will have an organization that will not tolerate it and we will build you know people who need it and even myself like confident you know because everybody is beautiful everybody is a masterpiece of the lord and i just want everybody if you listen if you're looking at my video i want you to know you're beautiful you're strong whatever you're going through you're going to get through it. Don't let anybody tell you different. Don't let anybody take you down. And don't let anybody words, you know, hurt. Because at the end of the day, God loved you for you. No matter what you're going through, no matter how you look, no matter what you've been through, no matter what condition you have, no matter what's going on, you're valuable. Your life means everything. You can make a change. You don't have to do that. You don't have to end it. Because guess what? God made you. And when he's ready for you, he'll take you. So, I speak against suicide. I speak against bullying. I speak against abuse. It is not going to fly with me. And I stand with and firm on the belief of God that we are people and we should be treated as people. We should be treated with kindness. We should be treated with respect. It's time for us to take back what a person tries to take away, what a person tries to do. You stand in power. You stand in with the Lord because the Lord is and always will be the number one, the omega, who can come down and stop everything. So it's time for us to.
praise him. It's time for us to stop this. It's time for us to step in and let him know it will not be tolerated by me. It won't be tolerated in this world. Bullying has to stop. It has to. Too many lives have been taken away. Too many. And I stand today. I will not stand for it. And I will always speak against it. And I love everybody. And no matter what you're going through today, I want this to speak volumes in everybody's heart and everybody's mind. And I pray for the ones who have been lost. But it stops today. It stops. It can't go. Teachers need to step up. Parents need to step up. The kids need to be comfortable to let you know what's going on. Because if I have to go to every school, if I have to do, like, you know, walking and marching, I don't care because I just don't like it. I don't like it at all. Like, when I was growing up bullying, we didn't have, you know, suicide. But this generation, it, it is higher. Where, you know, kids, like, social media plays a big part in it. You know, oh, her hair was like this. Oh, you can, like, change somebody. Oh, she ugly. She doing this. Oh, I don't like her. My daughter was even on social media. Like, you know, you posted a picture. That's defamation of character. You cannot do that. And I've forgiven, you know, the girls who did that. And I've forgiven, you know, everything in the situation because we did came and sit down and we were able to come together as parents. But just to see my daughter go through it was, like, emotional because... It's like my hands are tied. Like, I'm, you know, she my daughter. She my everything. And I would not let her, you know, go through this loan, you know, because it's not right. So as a parent, I stand with the other parents. And I'm sorry that your child had to go through this. I'm, I, you know, I feel like apologizing. Like, I wish I could, like, reach out to that child and tell them, like, you're beautiful. You're strong. You know, you can get through this. No matter what someone says, it doesn't matter. Because no one can get through me. Because I always had this relationship with God since I've been born. He covered me because he knew I would face like hate because of the way I look. He knew I would face jealousy the way I look. I can walk in a room with someone and get intimidated easily by me. Because my presence is so bubbly. And, you know, I have a nice body. And everybody's like, oh, she's trying to steal my shine. No, I'm not trying to steal your shine. I'm stepping in the way God intended me. I'm not going to, like... Dim my light to secure you. You got to be confident in yourself. You cannot be jealous of anybody. Because I never want to be anybody but me. And that's it. I tell my kids, you know, you don't want to be anybody but what God wanted you to be. He put you here. He took his time to design you. He thought about it. Before he did it. So you think about it to the bully. Before you bully somebody. Think about that. Whatever you're going through, talk to God about it. Because you're not going to take someone's life because you, just to suit you. And whatever you do, whatever you reap, you will sow. I hope I said that right. Yeah. It comes back around. It comes back around. And I don't like it. And I'm happy today. I'm just speaking out of, you know, about against bullying because I get very passionate. But I don't like it. And I'm, I'm never going to like it. And I stand with God. I'm his child. He's my father. He's my best friend. He's my everything. And I have any problem telling you my love for him because that's what he wants me to do. And I don't care if it's cool. I don't care if it's in. I do everything for me. I do everything for him, for what he says and what he's going to approve of. I don't do it for fame. I don't do it for clout. Everything I say on my page is for the good of me and the good of others to help others because he put me here to help and I'm going to speak against it and I don't like it. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Share the love today. Share a message today. Speak out against bullying today. Whatever you have to do, stand up for yourself and stand up for someone else when they can't. This is Queen Cleo. I'm signing off and I'll see you guys in the next video.